right click, for God's sake. Sleep for Christ's sake. Phew. Yeah, that's our, that's our thing for today. Let me just resize my window. Okay. I've got to keep moving. Um, I know this isn't the most effective way of exploring, but oh well. Okay, I'll return to this appetite vein later. Um, seems a bit promising. Um, okay, um, I need uh, I need to just keep on checking my surroundings every so often. Um, let's see now. Looks like some floating island. Nothing of interest. What? What? Always very nice to take a bath every now and then. What? You saying you don't bath? Oh well. Okay. So, back out in the open plains. Well, the edge of the extreme he uh, extreme hills biome. Um, extreme hills. Holy shit! Gets me an idea. If I could make my way down to the very core around this area, I could find some emeralds. Now don't get too ahead of yourself, T-Man. We know what we came here for. And that is to find a desert. Which might take bloody forever. But if it does, I'm, I might have to cut some of the journey. Um, I will most definitely cut the journey back. Most of it. I'll immediately say that ahead of myself. Um, there appears to be some wax lodge. Wait a second. Wait, oh, uh, looks like an autumn forest down to the southeast. Yeah, autumn forest. I was getting ahead of myself, thinking of something else. Um, holy freaking Christ. Um, yeah, we're officially in an extreme hills. Which means right beneath my feet are most likely emeralds. And I wasn't kidding when I said that they spawn in massive veins above Y50. Like, seriously, I already see two massive appetite veins. It kind of means that, uh, uh, that appetite is. I wouldn't. Uh, uh, well, I'm not so sure what I could say about it. Um. I need to make uh, make my way to the top of this mountain. There appears to be something interesting at the top, which I want to check out. Um, I'm going to employ all my skills into this. There aren't really much skills to it, if you ask me. Um, boy, apart from actually not falling off. And what the f Oh god! Pigman, Pigman! Oh my god, yeah, this is something which I also forgot to mention. Um, Farmcraft 3 was updated. This is one of the obsidian totem poles, I believe. And if I check this. Ho ho! Mu uh, music, uh, mu uh, music disc? Um, let me just organize this real quickly. I got. A logic matrix programmer, that's going to come in real handy in the future, like you won't believe how handy. Um, protection free enchanted book, oh god, more pigmen. Just don't alert them, T Man. Don't alert the pigmen. Look down, equip your steel chest plate, which looks badass. Well, I got myself a steel chest plate and a music disc. He, I, uh, I knew this wasn't gonna go to waste. Check, uh, checking this out. So yeah, obsidian totem poles. Um, yeah, that's the obsidian totem right here. Um, I'll get into more explanation as to what this is useful for. Because honestly, they are quite useful. I'll mark it down so that I can return here in the future and, well, mine the, uh, mine the hell out of it. Oh 
make it a deep obsidian purple. It's an obsidian purple. It's hard to do. Ah, there we go. Obsidian totem. Um, there's also another logic matrix program in there. So if I die, I can find another, which is good to know. And we found ourselves in some kind of like green hills. Yeah, green hills. This is this is actually among some of my favorite biomes. Um, as you can see, there are some uh, great wood trees here, being from Farmcraft yet again. Um, the great wood trees are actually quite iconic in the Farmcraft mod because they because uh, they they weren't they were quite uncommon, but their size and you know their textures make them very easily recognizable. I need to pace around real careful. Um, did I bring any food? Oh yeah, my potatoes, of course. How could I forget about my delicious potatoes? Yeah, honestly, seriously, like, potatoes? I mean, they're hard to actually obtain. Like, I was very, very lucky to obtain a potato from a zombie. Like, the usual method of obtaining potatoes is to just find a testificate village and raid and raid a, a, it of its potatoes. Um, bit of a rendering fail there. Um, this looks like ow. Looks like quite a nice place. Um, how far am, uh, am I away from home? Approximately eight hundred blocks away. So we're pacing a good distance, but still no sign of any deserts or cacti. Which is really, really freaking annoying. Um, I feel like I'm on some kind of like massive adventure right here, just like progressively like going like northward. Um, now we're entering a autumn biome. Yeah, an autumn woods, as as may believe it or not. But still doesn't help that holy shit, this biome is massive. There's a medium, uh, yeah, the Autumn Woods biome, um, as well as like that Green Hills one which we saw earlier. Um, these biomes are provided by um, by Extra Biomes Excel. There's another obsidian totem here. Um, of course, I won't be able to mine it with my ruby pick. So fucking stupid. Okay, another great wood tree here. It's quite nice. Um, of course, not too exciting, kind of, you know, thinking about other things. Um, appears to be some kind of few trees right at the heart of this biome. I think, like, some kind of, like, jungle or something like that intersects this biome. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, jungle has intersected the biome. Another freaking jungle, seriously? You gotta be kidding me right now. Like I, I'm not joking about all this. Um. Oh yeah. Um. I also forgot to mention. Um. I temporarily. Um. Since I updated my mod pack. Um. I had to get rid of um Optifine. So if you notice any performance issues, I haven't actually been having much, considering the fact that I'm not running Optifine and I'm recording right now. Um, oh god, I seriously don't want to make this like a whole episode of me just like searching for a desert. I mean, oh, actually, instead of a desert, this could do quite nicely. Um, in case you can't see by the large map right now, I am encroaching on some very, very nice world gen. Which everybody can recognize just by the freaking shape. Uh, um, let me just assess from these structures. Yeah, it looks all right. I'll just eat my potatoes because I'm getting quite hungry. And another obsidian totem? Are you shitting me right now? Oh, pigman. And another chest. Booyah! 
and we've got a shove, uh, shovel of the earth mover, farmium ingot, some more redstone, nice, more logic matrix programmers, like holy fucking shit. Let's put some this away. Um, shovel of the earth mover. Sounds quite nice. That was actually quite a nice find. Um, yeah, as you can kind of tell this, if I actually would dig beneath this, yeah, as you can kind of see, pigment spawner. Of course, yet again, I am not going to piss off the pigmen, because that would just ruin my journey. Um, and do you see that in the distance? I think I saw um, a special villager, as a matter of fact, um, right here in, this, in the middle of this autumn forest biome. Yeah, just massive woodlands. Um, right, haha, <laughs> yes, I thought I saw this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Apiarist's house. Essentially, if you trade in certain things, so I could trade in, like, my princess right now, and get an emerald. I might consider that, good man. So... Um, I cannot count on the, uh, Apiar- oh, the Apiarist surviving. Um, Right, there's a marshy queen here, and there's a forest queen here. Nice. Um, they're currently breeding at the moment, it appears. Um, yeah, because of course, queens are dirt. Um, it appears to be night time, so I'm gonna have to sleep in the apiarist's house. Quick. Eee. I'm happy because I'm in an apiarist's house. And we got. A, uh, a librarian here, and there was a priest which is running away. Come back here, you pussy. Um, iron pick and four emeralds, unbreaking two, nice. Um, of course, there's this here. Um, I'm gonna have to note down this village because this is a quite convenient one. Um, but there's just one problem which is just at my mind, on my mind at the moment. Um, there appears to be a lack of the blacksmith's house. I'm currently searching around this place and I don't see a blacksmith's house. And as I like to say in villages, raid the blacksmiths! But I can't bloody do that if there's no blacksmith's place around. I, I'm so gutted right now over the fact that there's not a blacksmith's house in sight. Like, seriously, seriously gutted right now. And my house being approximately a thousand blocks away. Sad face. God, this is becoming a bit more of a nomadic style of gameplay. Um, which actually brings me on to something. Um, I am plan. Uh, I might. I am. I have been planning on this for quite some time, but I've been planning on doing a uh, a, a survive uh, a vanilla survival series called um like no the nomadic adventures. Um, yeah, I brought this up like um for a uh, first episode in the series, but um, might as well like bring it up again. Um, I'm gonna have to store more stuff into this canvas bag. So all this, might as well store that away. Bed, I can keep large fragments. Okay. Um. Okay, bro. Can I take your apiaries? I think he said yes. Yolo. Ah, mine it with a pick. Of course. We've got some apiaries. Of course, I'm being very unkind to this fellow gentleman right here, and I'm ruining his, uh, his, his place right now, but oh well. Let me just store away these coins right here. Um, untreated frames. You've got to be fucking kidding me right now. Well, keep the frames, okay, man? There's an impregnated one. 
the other frames can go to hell, because I don't see the point of these untreated frames. Um, I know frames do a special thing regarding your B breeding, but I haven't worked it out yet, unfortunately. Said fish. Okay. So, I got a bunch of apiaries. Nice! 